Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I hope you're doing so very well. Today I have, I always get this wrong, the Abominable Book Club Horror Book Box. Okay, this this is what I'm going to be unboxing. Um, this is the Full Guts Box. I have been smart and I've already opened it, so hopefully there will be no technical issues. Let's see. What is in this box today? First look. Okay. Ooh. The first thing we have in here is the second handbook, but I'm going to leave this till last because I find this the most exciting <laughs> because you don't know what it is. Um, oh, I know, I see it, I see it, okay. I see it. Oh no. Things have gotten worse since we last spoke by Eric LaRocca. Oh my God. This has been on my wish list for like ever, but I refuse to pay the price for the paperback. But this is a, not only a hardback, but it's actually signed by the author as well, which is so cool. Okay. A whirlpool of darkness churns at the heart of the macabre ballet between two lonely young women in an internet chat room in the early 2000s. A darkness that threatens to forever transform them once they finally succumb to the most horrific desires. A couple isolated themselves on a remote island in an attempt to recover from their teenage son's death when a mysterious young man knocks on their door during a storm. And a man confronts his neighbour when he discovers a strange object in his back garden only to be drawn into an ever more dangerous game. Three devastating beautifully written horror stories from one of the genre's most cutting edge voices. What have you done today to deserve your eyes? Oh, this is so cool. Um, This is Ace. I think I will be reading this pretty soon because it's like something I've had my eye on. And it has just like a lovely red hardcover. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so happy with this in this box. Normally I don't go straight for the book first, but I I couldn't help myself. So let's see what's in this box. Let's see what else is in this box. So every month you get a selection of drinks. It's gonna rustle. So we have a coffee bag, which is different from the last one I got. This is rich and full bodied. So I will give that a try. Then we have jasmine and orange favor green tea. Uh, forest fruits and ginger. ginger. Oh my God, can I talk today? <laughs> forest fruits and ginger fruit tea this sounds interesting and then as always you get a hot chocolate and a cappuccino i always give the cappuccino to my mum because i am a latte girl which i say every video <laughs> you can never go wrong with having too many drinks especially because it's coming to like fall weather and that's when i drink all of the hot drinks and just like you know vibe out on autumn and just love life essentially so we have Ooh, okay. We have peanut butter chunky buttons. Um, I am not a huge fan of peanut butter, but I'm gonna give them. I'll give them a try. I like. I don't mind peanut butter. I just feel like it. It depends. But this is PB and J actually. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Uh-uh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. They're too strong peanut butter for me. I don't mind peanut butter if it's subtle. This is not subtle. This is really, really strong peanut butter. So um my mum will get these with her cappuccino because she loves peanut butter. Oh, that was strong. I'm going to have that taste in my mouth. I'm going to probably brush my teeth to get rid of that taste because that was strong. 
Ooh, we have a pin badge. This is so cute. I always, I, I never know what the pin badges are, um, which is really annoying. And there's no spoiler card in these. So again, if anyone knows what this is from, can you let me know? Because I am just really horrendous at guessing. And you'd think I would know some of these being like a horror movie fan, but no, I just, as, as soon as I see something like that, my mind goes complete and utter blank, unless it's obvious. <laughs> Oh, I think we have another book in here. Okay. Oh. Just getting all the little bits out. What is this? This is Full Immersion by Gemma Amor. A full throttled scream in the heart, a harrowing inward odyssey. Interesting. I've never heard of this one. It says it's a Bram Stoker award-winning author. Let's see. Also the flop level. This is, oh, that peanut butter is so strong. Mm. What can you do when you're reeling from trauma when you've tried it all? Counseling, yoga, pills, meditation, art, healthy living, and none of it makes a dent. What's left? Magpie is out of ideas. She's desperate enough to try anything. Just when she thinks her life can get no worse, she discovers herself, or rather her own dead body, partially buried in the mud bank of a river. A man stands by, a familiar stranger. What does he want? And why can't she remember getting here? Why can't she remember anything? Unbeknownst to her, two pairs of eyes watch from behind an observation screen. In a room filled with computers and sensors, an experiment is unfolding. But Magpie is the subject or practitioner. Reality becomes a slippery concept and beyond the glass is something more still, a hint of an outline shaped in darkness. Magpie realises all too soon that her journey has transformed from healing to survival. She must become the hunter rather than the hunted, with her missing memories to prey. Ooh. In, a, in turn, brutal, beautiful and absolutely terrifying. Full immersion is the latest speculative horror from Gemma Amor. Ooh, this sounds really interesting actually and the fact that i've never heard of it um makes me excited to try this and it is actually blurbed by eric laroca so eric laroca said astonishing and totally unique Gemma moore writes fearlessly it feels as if she were bathing her soul in full immersion an intricately crafted and superbly rendered vision of horror fantasy from one of the genre's most brilliant and devastating voices. Ooh, that's interesting. So I don't know, maybe I can do this as a video or something. Um, I do plan on doing a vlog of reading some of the books that I've received from this abominable book club box. So if you're interested, I will leave a pinned comment down below of all the books I've gotten so far and please vote for one you would like my thoughts on and that vlog will be coming very shortly. Let's see what else we have. We have ooh, some, ooh. I think that's it. Oh, this is cool. We have, oh, this is so cool. I love this. So this is an abominable book club box, but it also is Stranger Things inspired. Ah, Chrissy, this is for you. Oh my God. And it's got, ah, oh, okay. I love this. This is my most favorite bookmark that I have received from this box. And it even has Eddie with a book instead of a guitar. Like, oh, I am using this immediately. I, I'm using it. <laughs> then we have a postcard, which is the full immersion um, cover and just a postcard on the back, which is pretty cool. And then finally, well, not finally, we still have the secondhand book, but this is the Abominable Book Club box bookmark and everyone has a small like short story on the back so i am going to read this to you now spookmark 12 series 4 george always brought agnes here it was her favorite place to be even before the dementia now it was a place of calm for both of them on this little bench by the sea 
Agnes used to talk about growing up on the coast whenever they sat here, about how she spent her days looking for treasure in caves and rock pools. It was something George thought would help her mind. Memories were important now, more so than they had ever been. Lately, she was speaking less and less, and whenever she did speak, George barely understood what she was talking about, but it was good she was still talking at all. I remember when he was smaller, Agnes said. Who, dear? Agnes raised her hand, her finger pointing way out to the sea. George frowned. There's nothing there, Agnes. It's just the ocean. He rubbed her shoulder and felt her shiver beneath her blanket. Come on, let's get you home. No, she snapped. I have to see him again. Her eyes filled with tears and before George could speak, the air went still. If it weren't for the squawking of fleeing gills, it might have been completely silent. George noticed the sea begin to swell and bubble like it was boiling and the ground shook beneath them. A dark shape emerged from the water, impossibly huge against the horizon. Its scales were as deep and obsidian black as its eyes, covered in ocean debris. Agnes began to sob. Oh, George, I missed him so much. Oh, George, indeed. And finally, let's get to the second handbook because uh, that is the last thing that we have. Okay, I always like... I was, why did I not... See, this is the thing. I was prepared with the box, but I did not think to snip this one before I started. Okay. And we have the second hand boot. Uh, let's see what this is. Ooh. Okay. Apparently I'm just going to destroy it. Oh, oh, oh. What is it? Is it a good one? Oh, Peter James. I've heard of Peter James. Sweetheart by Peter James. Okay. I don't I don't own any books from this author. It says Charlie has a strange feeling when she sees the idyllic mill house with its cluster of outbuildings, the lake and the swirling mill stream, a powerful sense of recognition, as if she has been there before, except she knows she hasn't. After Charlie and her husband Tom moved into Elmwood Mill sinister memories start to haunt her. As the memories become increasingly vivid and terrifying, Charlie starts to feel afraid. Charlie is persuaded to undergo hypnosis, but in searching for the answer, she needs to go deep into her past, a place where secrets were safely buried until now. Ooh, very interesting. Her past can't stay buried forever. Hmm, cool. So I do this every book box that I get. I price the three books on Amazon. So this is the price of the book box and the price of the these three books on Amazon. I don't count any of the extras that I get in these boxes, just the price of the three books at Amazon prices. I think this box is probably going to be way more than it's like worth like I think the three books here are probably more expensive than this book just simply because this is a hardback this is it seems like an an indie book um so yes full guts book box and Amazon's prices I am so happy with this haul this is something I've had my eye on for so long and I now have a hard signed back a hard signed back a hardback signed this is something i've never heard of but it sounds actually really good and i would be excited to get to this and this is an author i've heard of but have not tried yet so yeah i am i'm really happy with this i also my two favorite things from this box is totally the stranger things bookmark and things have gotten worse since we last spoke this is my two favorite things I again ask you to go down into the comments and vote for which books you would like me to include in a vlog so you can see my thoughts on them. It will be pinned down below and that is everything. And that is everything I have for you today. I feel like I got through it really quickly and it, I feel like I'm missing something because I got it th through it so quickly but I hope not. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, great week, great weekend, whenever you're watching this. Remember to stay safe, happy and healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye.
from the top hit restart so